So I posted this innocent hair video on TikTok, right? And then I received this comment that says, the way we see shame when we do not uphold the white man's standard of beauty, calling ourselves manly and unruly because we haven't tamed our hair as if it would be bad not to be a feminine woman. The way this ignores the women who are actually trying to be masculine. There's nothing I've not seen in this life. So because I say I want to own wig and draw small eyebrow, and all of a sudden I'm now fighting on the white man's battlefield. I just want the internet to know everything is not that deep. I beg you. And then she says, this ignores the women who are actually trying to look masculine. <laughs> is the wig biting you? If, if you want to leave the house looking like a father-in-law, go ahead. I'm not stopping you. Me, I'm sure when my hair is not done at some point in my life, I've left the house looking like a distinguished young man. So, uh, no problem. I know that we're having many social justice warriors on the internet. But everything is not meant to be offered. Sometimes somebody wants to just post a video and go. That's it. It doesn't mean you should come and be typing a uh, pistol of Paul and Peter under somebody's video. I'm sure if I went to Chipotle right now and posted that I ordered white rice instead of brown rice, somebody's going to comment and be like, you know, the reason you chose white rice instead of brown rice is because the system got you thinking that white rice is better for you. But brown rice, uh, uh, relax. I just... I just said, let me put food inside this, my stomach. I didn't know it would turn into civil rights movements. I know that there are some things that people will pose that are, are very disrespectful and offensive, but it's not everything. You know, sometimes, I just want you to take a break from the internet. Hmm? Log off. Go and live life. Go and laugh. I know if I ask some of you to laugh now, you will not know what to do. You don't even know where to start because you have not laughed in how many years? Some of you, we don't even know if you have teeth or you don't have teeth. Every time somebody sees you, you're, doing, you're looking, uh-uh, hey, <laughs> chili uh, squeezing, squeezing face like lemon. I just want someone to know that it's possible to go one day without being offended by something, you know, you, you saw on the internet. You know, I, I, I know you don't think it's possible. I, I, I know your mind cannot, cannot imagine such life, but it's possible. I know your mind is tired from working around the clock to be just looking for something to be offended about. So my dear, go and relax. Okay, you have been you have been woke for too long. May God deliver the internet from the spirit of offense. But anyway, let me go and eat my brown rice before they say that I've abandoned my people.